Hello people of YouTube, my brothers and sisters, it's Lenny Why. How about give my wisdom state of mind? Overcoming jealousy and envy. It's one of the worst emotions that you can have as a man or a woman. You know, especially in this day and age. Where people like to showcase their materials, what they have accomplished, their achievements, their new man, their new girl, their new car, you know, especially through the forms of social media these days. And because of it, we young people are now becoming covetous. We want these things. We want to go up the ladder. We want our lives to be better. And if our lives are not getting better, we compare ourselves to these guys. And that's when jealousy and envy really kicks in the soul. Causing you to be bitter. Causing you to be resentful at people you may know simply because you see them doing something that they're good at. You see all their accolades and all their fortune. And you look at yourself and you feel like, what's going on with me? You have all these insecurities building up inside of you. And sometimes too much of jealousy and envy can make you make serious bad decisions, you know. That anger will be like uncontrollable, causing you to hurt someone, literally, you know, because you are jealous and envious of what they got and you want it. You're coveting after what they got and you don't have it for yourself, but they have it. It's like, why the hell should this guy have it? Why this girl should this woman have it, you know? Who is she? Who is he? And then that anger, that vengeful anger and rage will build up inside of you to make a dumb decision. Probably get you in prison, probably get you killed, probably get you fired, you know. Even in the streets, there's always some jealous guy who wants to go smoke out someone's head off simply because they were jealousy, jealous and envious. Very, very sad. So we have to look at other things. And that's by looking deep within yourself. What are you lacking in? Is there any things that you could improve upon? Because if you could improve upon them, there will be no need to be jealous of someone. There will be no need to be envious of someone else. There may be something lacking in your life that you need to fill, that you need to take care of. You know, I was there too. I was there jealous and envious of people that I don't, I don't even know. I've even met. But because I see them quote unquote popping, Look, I'm a rapper as well. I'm a rapper, yeah? And I see them popping. It'll make me feel like, you know, look at this guy. Who is he? This guy's rubbish. This guy's whack. He can't spit for shit. But, you know, they look like they're getting all these uh, attention. And here I am trying my hardest to get attention or to get some sort of traffic my way. You see? And... That's where you have to start looking deep within yourself. What are you lacking in? Study yourself. Study your soul. What are you lacking in that you could improve upon? That's what I'm getting when it comes to jealousy and envy. It's something that you're lacking in. And when I look at the Bible, yeah, look at Cain. Cain was jealous of Abel. Cain was envious of Abel because his, 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 his sacrifice, his offering wasn't accepted by God. But his brother was accepted and he and he was pissed. You can and when you look at the Bible of Genesis, you can see how Cain was so forward in trying to create the best offering to God and it got denied. And he looked at his brother and he said, Look at this guy. He gets all this praise, he gets all this uh uh uh, uh fruitfulness, and here I am still suffering. And you know, that jealousy and that envy has got to him, and God told him that hey. We need to work on yourself. There's sin at your door. Why don't you work on it and then I'll accept your offering. But the, but the Cain take his advice? No, because that jealousy and that envy was so in his soul that, you know what, he decided to take, take his own brother out, kill him. Just kill him. Because he didn't like the fact that his brother was prospering and he wasn't. That's some of us today, guys. Rather than taking it out on someone and... and making all these derogatory comments or being foul at them, we need to look at ourselves and see what we are lacking in. Because if we are lacking in something, we need to improve upon it. And if we improve upon it, jealousy and envy won't even be in our hearts, man. It won't because you have security for yourself. There'll be no insecurity. And then once you do that, you actually realize that the people that you are jealous after and envious after, you are even more better than them. Or matter of fact, when you find out things that comes out from the open, you realize that why was I even jealous or envious in the first place?
I'm going to get real. The book says in Proverbs 23, verse 17 to 18, he reads, Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. And also in Psalms 37, verse 1 to 3, it says, Fret not yourself because of evil doers. Be not envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. So you see, guys, there's nothing to worry about. These people that you are jealous over and envious over, they're not even worth it. You see, we live in an era where social media is the biggest thing right now. And me actually starting to go back into myself and get rid of these evil things such as jealousy and envy made me realize that all the things I was looking at are all lies. Come on, guys. Everybody's trying to put on a lifeish lifestyle. You don't know what they're doing. You don't even know much how much they're paying to even maintain that lavish lifestyle. So is it worth to be jealous over? Is it worth to be envious over? God is looking at your heart. And rather taking that Cain approach that Cain did by killing his brother Abel. Yeah, rather than taking that approach to, you know, curse out your friends or, what, you know, be resentful. You've actually taken a heroic approach by looking at yourself. And get rid of these things and making some changes. And now you see when you look at look at everywhere, it's all lies. It's not worth to be jealous. It's not worth to be envious of other people. Because I'll tell you one thing. We are all trying to, to, to survive. We are all got to eat off the same plate. I mean, we all got to eat. We all need money. We all need to drive. We, we, this, is hum, this is human nature, man. We all trying to survive. And me as a rapper... When I look at the artists in the game, when I look at the music industry with these new eyes that I found since God has transformed my mind, the music industry is a crap's in a barrel. Everybody wants to be number one. Everybody wants to have attention. Everybody is putting on some image. So is it is it is it wise for me to have jealous and be envious of people who are doing the same damn thing over again? Nah. But God knows my heart and knows my 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 um my desire and he shall fill it so when my time comes and you see it it's going to be going to skyrocket why because i've made changes now there's no need to be jealous guys god knows god has a hope for your future you just need to work on yourself and fulfill it and you realize that all these people they're not worth it man but the lord god elohim he sees your heart and you'll prosper just trust in him make a few changes and keep going man don't compare yourself to people. And if you're finding trouble overcoming jealousy and envy, get off that social media. Get off. Just log out. Delete the app. Because it's all full of lies. It's all full of fictitious lifestyles. So don't be discouraged. Don't be jealous. Don't be envious. Don't be any of that. You know, Even if they got their fortune, you need to look at yourself and work on yourself. Wherever you are lacking in, fill it. And the Lord God will help you and make you above all nations. It all starts from here, guys. It all starts from your heart. If you've got a clean heart, many things happen. If not, and it's full of jealousy and envy, you're going to suffer, man. You have to deal with that. Don't be like Cain. Don't be like Cain. Humble yourself and rise. Hope you find this video intuitive. Get over yourself, man. We're all trying to be the best version of ourselves. God bless you all. Take care and subscribe. Peace.